So I need to go around and make a burn at my apoapsis that will bring this down to zero. So I'm going to do that now. I'm pausing a little bit as I'm speaking because I'm actually thinking about this as I go. I don't do a whole lot of rendezvous, so I have to actually think about what I'm doing. Okay, I'm almost at apoapsis. Now, what I don't know is if I, did, if I need to do a prograde burn or a retrograde burn. I seem to always get it wrong. I think wanting to say it's a retrograde burn. I need to I need the time between me and the ISS. Let's see. To be honest, I just don't know. I mean, I could explain my thought process, but there's no point. So let me get to close to the apoapsis. And then I'll pitch up. Let me go ahead and do that now. So I turn off the retrograde autopilot. Rotation. Pitch up. Actually, I'm not even going to do that because I'm just going to use translation thrusters. This is a fairly... I believe this should be a small enough burn that I don't need to use main engines. So I'm going to, I'm going to try this with translation first. And since I'm using translation thrusters, I don't need to, I don't need to have that at the retrograde. The, the ship's translation thrusters are properly oriented. Translation. Do a small burst just to see which direction I need to go. Okay, that's forward. So that's correct. All right. Now I am going to go ahead and pitch up a little bit now that I... Now that I know for sure that forward is correct. Okay. Now I'm going to burn. Bring DT men down close to zero. Hopefully bring it all the way to zero. Switch to translation. And get that set. I overshot just a tad. Now I'm using control thrusters there. DT min is zero. Perfect. My relative inclination is still zero. And my DT min is now zero. So On the third orbit, I will be close enough to the ISS to rendezvous with it. So I'm going to go around this orbit, then I'll go around that orbit, and then on this orbit, which is 16,000 seconds from now, I'll be able to rendezvous with the ISS. What I want to do in the meantime is continue to make sure that my relative inclination stays at zero, because if it's off even a little, that's a problem. And I may actually go ahead at the ascending node, descending node. I was going to say bring this down to zero, but I think I'm better off not doing that because if I do, it'll change my DT min. So I'm not going to do this. It's, it's zero. That's good enough. So now, Before I fast forward these orbits, just thinking for a second. I guess I've got everything taken care of. I will do a quick save though. 
just in case something goes wrong I can pick up from this point. Okay, I just hit Control S and did a quick save. Okay, now I'm going to go forward. Got all the autopilots off. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Okay. You have to tune in to the ISS's transponder. That's 131.30. And I brought this up by hitting Control I. And I'll tune in to the first docking port on Nav 2. It's 108.05. Okay. And we'll bring this up even though for now we don't have a signal. And now we're just going to orbit. Uh, we're going to go around, coast around the planet. About two or three orbits. And I'm going to do this a little slowly so that I can make sure that things don't change. Watching the DT min if it gets off <clears throat> even a little bit, then I'm going to stop at the next apoapsis and bring it all the way back down to zero. And if the relative inclination gets off even a little bit, I'll need to stop the orbit and adjust that as well. Otherwise, we'll continue going around. That's one orbit. And we're on the second orbit now. Getting close enough to the ISS at this point to get a signal. How far away are we? We're 625 kilometers. Wow, that's a heck of a long-range signal. See the distance closing? It'll close and get further away until we actually get on this last orbit. In which case, when I get really close to it, it sh this should just continue to come down. So we're about a half, well, about three quarters of an orbit away from rendezvous. Speed this up a little bit, DT min zero, relative inclination zero. Okay, now you can see the distance coming down. And then at this point, it should just continue to come down until we reach with the point of rendezvous. And I'll speed this up. I don't want to go all the way to zero here. I want to just get close enough so that I can start making manual adjustments. DT min is zero, relative inclination is zero, and we're 88 kilometers away. So pretty soon, switch down to real time. Need to get, I'd say, at least 30 kilometers. Forty kilometers away. All right, that's close enough. I don't want to run the risk of overshooting it. So now we'll switch to the docking HUD. Rotation. Switch to the rotation. And the first thing, let me just kind of see if I can find the ISS and there it is. This box is where the ISS is at. So for now, I'm just going to keep it right there in my viewpoint and close a little bit more distance. 10 times acceleration. Just letting it get closer. Technically the rendezvous point is still 700 seconds away so we're still okay to have a little bit of time acceleration. go to 100, 200 seconds away, okay, okay, now we are going to start eliminating some of this difference in velocity, Trail 
location. That's not going to be fast enough. I'm going to have to switch around to the other. was correct. Oh, this space shuttle is so slow. I'm used to using the Delta Glider or XR2, and these movements are just painfully slow when you use the shuttle. I'm going to use the main engines, or the SS, or the Ohms engines, rather, so I'm going to have to pitch up. Ah. I thought it was this way, it's not, it's the other way. Can't afford the time to make these mistakes now. Too close. <laughs> 